Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2021 KTM 690 SMCR, and today I'll show you how to change the oil, oil filters, and oil screens. The procedure is the same for all 690s made from 2012 through at least 2021, as well as the Husqvarna 701 line. KTM recommends changing the oil every 6200 miles or at least once a year, but the first oil change should be done after the initial break-in period at 620 miles, which is what we're doing today. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Breaker bar, torque wrench, socket wrench, socket extension, electric screwdriver, 13mm socket, 8mm socket, T30 Torx bit, and an angled pick. For this job I also needed a kit that comes with oil filters, screens, and o-rings, 1.8 quarts of full synthetic 10W50 oil, a funnel, gloves, and a fluid catch pan. Before we start, the engine should be warm to get the oil flowing better. Put the bike on a level surface. We stood the bike upright to make it easier to work on, but that's not required. The skid plate is held on with two screws that can be removed with an 8mm socket or a T30 Torx bit. Pull the skid plate forward to remove it from the frame. Place a catch pan under the oil drain bolt and remove it with a 13mm socket. I needed a breaker bar to break it loose. The oil could be very hot, so make sure not to burn yourself. Remove the bolts securing the left side oil filter cover. Twist the cover a little and use the tab with the bolt hole in it to pull it off. Be careful, it's slippery. I saw another video that used a tool like this to pull the oil filter, but that didn't work for me. Just get it in the eye? All over my face. Oh, okay. I don't, okay. Runs in. don't think it went in my eyes. But yeah, that didn't work. So. It was easier to just pull it out using an angled pick. Now remove the right side oil filter cover and pull out the filter. The oil screens can be removed using a 13 mm socket. One of them is right next to the oil drain bolt. And the other is on the front of the engine behind the front tire. With everything removed, tilt the bike to one side and then the other to get any remaining oil out. Before installing the new parts, we need to oil and install the new o-rings and apply some oil to the screens and oil filter gaskets. The kit also came with new metal caps for the screens and a new crush washer for the drain bolt. Wipe out any dirty oil from the filter housing and install the new filter. It can face either way. Reinstall the two bolts and torque them to 53 inch pounds.
The filter on the left side only has one hole and it needs to face inward. Install the new oil screens and torque them to 133 inch-pounds. Then install the drain bolt with new crush washer and torque it to 177 inch-pounds. Now we can add the new oil. Remove the oil filler cap and pour in 1.8 quarts. Use a rag to wipe up any spilled oil and replace the oil cap. The skid plate is easier to install if you put the rubber grommets in the frame first. Warm up the engine, shut it off, and check the oil level with the bike upright. I accidentally put in 1.7 quarts and had to add another tenth. The owner's manual says the oil level should be filled to halfway up the viewing glass and should always be between the upper and lower limits of the glass. Now put away your bike and grab a beer with a friend cause we're done. That concludes this week's video. If you like my videos, consider supporting me on Patreon or donating on PayPal. I quit my job and I'm not going back. As always, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. Thank you.